It's an exciting day. I have a guest with me today. My mom is here. We got some great things to talk about. And thank you for joining us next on Pastor Bob's Coffee Break. Mom, we have matching cups. Yes, we do. It's the Christmas thing. And, uh, you know, this is called buffalo print. The pattern? The pattern, yeah. Oh, I, I don't know why comes. buffalo, but that's what it's Where called. Where that comes from. I like that. I have a lot of it. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes. Well, Mom, Christmas 2020. Doesn't this seem is, possible. It doesn't seem possible, no. <laughs> And uh, I don't think we want to go through through 2020 again. It's been a hard year. It's been a difficult year. And uh, we started out the year losing my dad in February. And uh, that was kind of a tough time. Very, yes. And still a little tough. It is. And when it's you're close to the Christmas season, yeah, those bring back a lot of memories. Mom, you and I have been talking about new traditions, haven't we? Yeah. And just... Yeah, what is it going to be? <laughs> yeah. Coming up with some new things, you know, that we we have so many great family traditions. And That's some true. we will continue, and, and some uh, needed to involve my dad. My dad was so good at family gatherings and family get-togethers. Nobody loved his family more than he did. Yes. And um, and so it was always such a special time, and it still is. It still is. A lot of good memories. Great memories, yes. yes. So, Mom, we started out the year losing Dad, and then right after that, uh, we had the tornadoes. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> that devastated this whole area. And, uh, of course, our homeless folks. Yes. And uh, they were devastated. And that area under the bridge, um, the buildings around it were, well, totaled. Totaled. They're actually they're gone. leveling. They're gone. They're leveling. They just took out the debris, and they're building a big hotel there. So we may have to. We're feeding in two locations right now. We're feeding under the bridge and actually at a plant place called Tent City. It's also uh, under a bridge. Which is also under a bridge and we'll probably have to end up there because I don't think they're going to let us stay too long where we're currently at because there's a nice hotel going up there. But so we had the tornado, people were traumatized and then the coronavirus hit and um, and these people that were traumatized and we were trying to reach and spend time with and console all of a sudden, we couldn't spend time with them, and this has just been way too long, hasn't it? Yes, it's very difficult. Yeah. You can't see each other. Yeah. can't talk to each other. Yeah, it's really yeah. tough. So, Mom, we haven't missed a beat, though, and we're serving in both locations um, every single day, and it's it's been awesome. And... So many of you have helped with uh, with the, the homeless ministry, and we are really thankful for that. Couldn't aren't we? do it without. The we help. couldn't do it without. And uh, it's been a tough year to keep things going. We got two new trucks uh, last year, I guess it was, and um, and both of them failed us. <laughs> um, we had to put new engines in both of them. About sixty five hundred dollars each. So we've had a lot of unplanned expense and a lot of we had a big huge freezer that failed that so we had to replace and now we're replacing our big oven and uh, there's always something, isn't there? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> surprises. <laughs> yeah, surprises, right. But uh, but God's been faithful, and it's been a difficult year, but it's been a year of of His faithfulness, and yes. we are still here, and we're still alive and kicking, Mom. Yes, we'll make it. Yes, we will. <laughs> to the end of the year, yes. Yes, 
We'll start a, start a new one. So people are looking at us right now, Mom, and they're saying, you know, she looks more like his sister. Oh, sure. <laughs> Not his mom. I think so. So, Mom, oh. tell them how old you are this year. I'm 90. 90. 90 and a half. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> now, do you still say a half? Because I think, you know, when you're a kid, you do. I'm, yeah. Well, I hadn't said that before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 90 and a half. And, you know, it's, um, you have, uh, you are the youngest 90 of anyone that I know. Well, it's, I try. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, Mom, you're still active. You're still working with the homeless ministry. You're still making the menus and kind of calling the shots and overseeing. Not as much as I used to. Yeah. We've got two but good guys working with down. us. Yeah. <laughs> well, we've got some great guys that are yes. working with us. And yes. I don't think you've slowed down that much. It's just that they're able to step in. But yeah. you're you're still making the menus and still, still doing. Yeah. A lot of the work. As much as I can. Yeah. Yeah. And, Mom, we're still going for joy rides. Oh, yes. Every day. Now, you know, we're we're trying to quarantine as much as we can, although we've gotten out a few times. And, and Mom, we both look really kind of uh, stylish in our masks. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I hate those masks. <laughs> I'd rather stay home than have to go out and wear a mask. I know, exactly. Yeah. But, but we, we do we, we do, do go out for our for a drive yeah. several times a week just to get out of the house. <laughs> we go through the drive through to get coffee, you know, and um and uh, we have it down and they think they have it down, they see us coming and they know we want <laughs> yeah. pretty much just black coffee and Yeah. So um and then we, we enjoyed just the drive. Now, last night, Mom, we went to see Christmas lights. Yes. And, you know, we found out the Christmas lights are the most beautiful close to home. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the most, the best lights, the ones that are extravagant almost, yeah. are just within, what would you say, three blocks of us here? Yeah. Four blocks? Yeah. And we drove a long ways all over the place, and we thought, well, we'll... We'll drive through some rich neighborhoods and maybe people, you know, and uh, we don't live in a in a rich neighborhood. It's kind of no. middle class, but um, but yeah, we had the best ones. We right came here. home and we found yeah. out we had the best <laughs> ones right here. We didn't have to drive that yeah. far. <laughs> there are three in particular, and we just really enjoyed those. That was it. Was kind of fun to get out and do that. Now we do have blow up. Um, snowman. A snowman, yeah. A mother and a father and a child. And they're, I don't know, maybe 15 feet high. And, you know, they're the kind that you keep air going into them. And they have lights on the inside so people can see that at night, too. And that's about the extent of that's our... About it. Yeah. yeah, that's about it. We, uh, we haven't done much more than that. But, so, Mom, Christmas Through the Ages... Uh, this isn't your first rodeo. You've had 90 Christmases. Oh my goodness. I haven't thought of that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> yes, it is. Any that stand out in particular to you? Oh my. I'm putting you on the spot, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I hadn't thought about it. I can particularly remember one when I was about six years old. Yeah. We were going for the... Um, Christmas Eve service. And your and, father was the pastor? Yeah, my, yes. And so we went out to the car to go, and Dad said, oh, I have to go back in for something. And he went back in, and I guess he put the stuff under the tree, because when we came home, we, Santa had been there. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and I remember, I remember that, that, um, a surprise. Yeah. Yeah. They had to go back in the house. <laughs> huh. Yeah. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. So, Mom, there were some lean times for your family. There were times that you didn't know where the food was going to come from. Right. But um, we always had some. 
Yeah, God always yeah. supplied. Yeah, yeah. And uh, and Christmas, I'm sure, was much like that too. Huh? Yes, the congregations, um, they called it a um, pounding, and they would bring, for Christmas, they would give us boxes and boxes of food they'd bring. Mm. And when you have three churches, you get a lot of food. Yes, well, that's and great. So that kind of helped us through the tough times. Yeah. Uh, he was, uh, uh, my grandfather was what they call an itinerant pastor. In other words, he pastored three churches at a time. Can you imagine? He'd preach in one and then go to the next and the next. And and um, that was, and you, as a family, you went to a lot of those services, didn't oh, you? Oh, we were always together, yeah. Yeah, yeah. always, yeah. Yeah, and they weren't at the town where we lived either. We lived in the town, but we traveled you know, one was like 30 miles away. Yeah. I remember. Um, then the other two weren't that far, but I had to travel mm. to get to church. That's interesting. A and it was different. South Dakota, so in the wintertime, that was pretty tough. Yeah. <laughs> it gets cold in South Dakota. Yeah. Yes. So, um, yeah, that's awesome. Well, Mom, you... Um, You've always made Christmas a real uh, thing to remember and lots of great memories um, with you've always made a lot of Christmas candies and Christmas dinner was always special and the, the Christmas tree itself, you know, as a family going out and cutting down the tree and, mm -hmm. and uh, decorating it and that live tree. We haven't had a live tree for a while, have we? <laughs> mm -mm. No. We're looking forward to doing that again. It's an easier thing now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But you start from scratch and put the lights on. And I remember, you know, stringing popcorn and stringing cranberries. I don't know if people do that anymore, but I don't know. That was half the fun, wasn't it? Yes. And uh, and then putting the tinsel on at the end. And um, I remember when I had the house that I had right before this. Um, I had a bunch of guys that were living there and we got a really nice tree and it was, you know, we started from scratch and did the whole thing. And, and so, um, I asked one of the guys if he would put the tinsel on the tree and he took this huge pile of tinsel and went, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and it landed all over the tree. And my first thought was, this is going to be a mess. And then after I looked at it for a second, I thought, <laughs> you know, that looks pretty good, actually. <laughs> I'd never seen tinsel put on a tree that, no. <laughs> quite that way. Yes. No. Any other Christmases that stand out as a, as a family at our house? We have so many memories. Hmm. So many things. I remember Dad and I, after the kids were in bed, We'd have to put together the toys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that's not an easy task sometimes, is it? <laughs> well, it takes time. Yeah. 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 Well, we, uh, we always enjoyed Christmas, and I'm sure that you have your traditions, too. And, Mom, as we get a little older, it, it seems like we just had Christmas, and now we're having it yeah. again. Time goes by too fast. It goes a little quickly, <laughs> doesn't it? It's true. So, do you have um, a Christmas message for the folks today? Something oh. from your heart? I'm really putting her on the spot today. Yes, I hadn't thought about this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What things are important to you this Christmas? I think to remember what Christmas is about. Yeah. I think too many times it's all commercialism and and giving gifts and and getting gifts and that's not the reason for Christmas. The Christmas is because of Christ, yeah. Christ's birth, yeah. And to celebrate and, His birth. Yes. Yes. And I think as we gather as a family, that that's one thing we have to remember. We're not just here to just just get our food and eat and. 
which is part of it, but we have to remember why. Yes. Why we're celebrating, what we're celebrating. The reason for the season. Right. 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 And uh, folks, I hope that's encouraging for you. It is for me that, you know, Christmas is, is about family. It's about remembering what, what Christ did for us. The baby in the manger became the savior of the world, which is, is uh, the greatest message, isn't it? And yes, and why, why he did it, you know, because such love. Yeah. And that love needed to be passed on. And that's the, the Christmas message, isn't it? Yes. Yes. We love because he first loved us. Yes. And why do we give presents? I mean, this is something that children need to be told. Yeah. Why are you getting a present? What's, you know. Right. And the focus behind that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Well, Mom, we are blessed. We, um, we have a, a roof over our heads. We... We have uh, great friends and family. We have the opportunity to spend some time with our friends here as well. And um, Christmas 2020, it's been a tough year. We're getting excited for 2021, aren't we? We hope it'll be better. Yeah. Oh, that will be. It will be. And That'd we'll be make positive. sure it is. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And we're looking forward to a new day, a new dawn, a you know, another time of of um, spending time with our homeless folks. We're increasing some of the things that we're doing. We're looking at even adding another location, possibly. And, um, you know, there's a whole lot of people still hurting moms yes. that, that need our help. And and again, thank you for helping with that. And, and for all of you that have been so faithful this year in giving and and helping with our homeless friends. We really, really are appreciative. And they are. I mean, they, Mom, when we when we serve uh, food and and tents and sleeping bags and Clothing. burners and everything that we do, they're very, very uh, thankful, aren't they? Yes, they are. Yeah. Yes. And they go through line. And, and what is one thing that all of them say? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And if you ask them how they're doing, the number one answer, blessed. Yeah. I'm blessed. They have nothing, but I'm blessed. Which just shows that blessings don't come from Things. material possessions. Yes. Yeah, they've learned the true meaning of, well, Christmas and life. Mm -hmm. Well, Mom, it's Christmas Eve day. We're going to do soup tonight. Mm -hmm. A couple of different kinds of soup with our family. And and then tomorrow we have our whole extended family coming. A lot of people that you watch here on our Sanctuary Matrix. And uh, some of the Sanctuary people will be here and others. And we're going to fill up this table with great food and great conversation and happy times. And and folks, and my prayer for you is that your Christmas is happy and bright. Right. And that you remember the reason for the season. And uh, and that we are, what, Mom? Blessed. Blessed. So go and be a blessing. So go and be a, you heard it from her. <laughs> yes. So go and be a blessing. Okay, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs>